Amnesia is usually a temporary condition in which we lose the ability to memorise information or recall information stored in our memory. And I'm going to illustrate through a personal example the difference between retrograde and anterior grade amnesia. So a few years ago when I was having a bike ride on a weekend, a rollerblader unexpectedly cut me off. I locked my brakes, went over the handlebars and literally landed head first on the pavement in front of me. According to witnesses, I was unconscious for a couple of minutes, so they called the ambulance. And by the time the ambulance got there, I was conscious, and I was conscious apparently for the duration of the ambulance ride until I got to the hospital, which was about 10 kilometres away or 6 miles if you come from a country that works with the imperial system. Physically I wasn't too bad, I had a broken elbow and a few scrapes and bruises, but not too bad. But in the short term I had significant cognitive impairment. So for a good hour after my accident I had a case of retrograde amnesia. I had no ID on me and I had a wedding ring on but I couldn't remember my name, my wife's name, my phone number, my address. And to this day, I still can't recollect anything about that bike ride, which, and the accident occurred a good 30, 40 minutes after I left home. I can't remember planning the bike ride. But after about an hour, all of a sudden, my name popped into my head. And this activated literally a semantic network of all these personal memories. So all of a sudden, I got my wife's name, and that queued my phone number, address, etc. So my wife got the call. But basically, Retrograde amnesia refers to a memory loss of events which occurred before the brain damage. For me, it was obviously a temporary condition, thankfully. Um, and apart from a head trauma like the one I suffered, you could get it from ECT, which is used to treat depression, a stroke maybe, etc. Retrograde amnesia is usually due to damage to the temporal lobe and prefrontal cortex. And because of interruption to the consolidation process, Generally, victims won't remember incidents leading up to the actual accident or brain trauma, which in my case is certainly true. Now, my accident also resulted in a case of anterior grade amnesia. I was unable to form new declarative memories. So, according to my wife, a doctor came in and showed me an x-ray of my elbow and explained that it was broken. And then about 10 minutes later, I asked my wife, I said, can you get someone to have a look at my elbow? It really hurts. And she goes, well, it's broken. And I go, how do you know that? And she goes, well, the doctor came in 10 minutes ago and showed us the x-ray of your break. And then again, about 20 minutes later, I said, can you get someone to look at my elbow? It really hurts. And she goes, it's broken. And again, we, went through, we were going around in circles because I was unable to lay down that memory trace of that conversation I had and likewise many other conversations I had with my wife. I had a six month old at the time and I said, where's Xavier? And my wife said, she's with grandma's, don't worry about it. And then 10 minutes later I'd say, where's Xavier? My wife would say, she's with grandma, don't worry about it. And so on. So I literally only had a memory of about two to three minutes for declarative stuff. Anterior means forward. So due to the damage to my hippocampus, which of course was temporary. I was unable to transfer information from my short-term memory, so I was attending to what my wife was telling me, but I couldn't lay down that memory trace in my long-term memory until my hippocampus literally repaired itself. So apart from developing anterior grade amnesia from a head trauma like the one I encountered, you could get it from Korsakoff syndrome, Chronic, which is a result of chronic alcoholism, or maybe due to Alzheimer's disease later on in life. So in summary, retro means backwards. So when we experience a brain damage, we can't recall events prior to that brain damage. Anterior means forwards. So again, we experience a brain injury and we can't lay down new memories.